Alrighty, so I'm just doing a little gel room update. I tried to uh, move some things around to try to free up some more space, but I'm just out of room in here. Um, I got my figures a little better organized. I like I like the way they look a little bit better than the way I had it before. A little, they're a little easier to get to. Um, I wanted them to go from up there all the way down to the floor. And then here, I was gonna put the, all the figures together and then I was gonna have the shelves stacked up, but it just wasn't gonna work. Just wasn't gonna have enough room to do all that. So back to back to square one, this is what I got. And I like it okay. Finally got these hung up. Uh, that one was hung up before, but these two were just kind of leaning on the floor. Then I got my world's smallest all right here. And then I got that little zip line dollar store G.I. Joe thing. And then that's a Hall of Fame Commando Duke. And But these shelves are all the same. Only difference is I got my five and below snake eyes there. And then I got my little G.I. Joe gliders over here. I don't really have anywhere else to put them. So I'll put them right next to my display. These do have lights on them, so that's pretty neat. I really like this one here. This is this is really cool to me. This uh, snow, snow scene. Or snow, um, Uh, diorama, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I was throwing a bug out. I didn't realize a bug was there. And this one has a light in it, too. I think somewhere. Yeah, right there. I like these little dioramas. I, I got them from somebody from eBay. They were just getting, he said he just didn't want them no more, so he's getting rid of them. And sold a pretty good price, so I went ahead and took them. But here's on my 12 inch Joe's. I got the Cobras on the top shelf, and then I got the Joes here. And I got the generic Joes in the background. I still got some more generics to put up. I had them kind of, I had that, air, those airplanes kind of tucked under there, but that air conditions in the way. So I, I kind of like it sticking out a little better. I could see what I have better. And I'm probably going to eventually move that Sky Striker to the top shelf. But I really like the Phantom. That's one of my favorite aircraft. But I got my... Still got my uh, headquarters all displayed up in the top. And looking pretty good. And I got my Wild Bill in there. And I... I had, there was a trooper that came with the blonde beard, so I, I'm saying that he's going to be that W.C. Colbert, and then that Mr. Hardy's there in the front. That's Wild Bill. But I got my four, my four slot trays there with the deluxe figures, the ones that came with more. And then I'm um, probably going to get another one because I still have some other figures that have some deluxe things like him and and um lifeline there i had to put spirit and freedom there because they just didn't have enough room in these little trays but i like these trays from toy gear these things are pretty cool and then um i got my i got my legos on the bottom Shh, cat i got my legos on the bottom sorry she wants attention as always all my stuff here there's my night raven and there's all the cobra stuff i'm really uh, really liking these trays you can change the you can have different backgrounds on them and i like um if you got i got like that other explosion style for the cobras and i got that one for the joes 
Cause that's, I think that was the, like the original explosion, digital or explosion background for the figures. And then this was like the second one, not a hundred percent, but I got my Star Wars over here. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to get some more room here. I just, I'm out of room I'm trying to congeal everything all together. And there's my Star Wars figures. Again, I'm really liking these trays. Because, I mean, they just... And then this one has a spacey background. which look like um, what the Star Wars figures come in. And Jabba's Palace. Still got some stuff. Mint in box. And then got my Hot Wheels. There's my Hot Wheel trays. I like the red background, even though they have different. And there's the Dollar Tree line called um, Final Faction. And there's just all my anime stuff sitting up there. And then there's some more of the Final Faction stuff there. And then I get more anime and games. <laughs> Gumby. <laughs> I got Captain Power. There's Captain Power. And I forget her name, but that was, she was part of that Captain Power show. Some old vintage, like fifties army men, and some anime, and some Halo, and then I got World of Halo up here on the top shelf of this thing. I got my Ghostbusters there, and I got some of my Ninja Turtles there. And then here's some He-Man stuff. But I'm probably going to wind up putting a shelf right here in the middle because I'm just I'm out of room. I got some things hanging up. I got another lunchbox I want to hang up. But for the most part, I mean, everything's looking pretty good. I can see what I got. And the only thing is, if I want to, since this is in the way, if I want to grab something off, off up here, I got to use my stool to kind of get me up there to, to be able to reach. <laughs> That was the, um, those are from the Sergeant Savage line. And then that's a comic book and Snake Eyes and Hardmaster. And then I got October Guard. Then I got the uh, Zed Force, G.I. Joe's. That's the international team. There's a few more I want to get. But that's why I got them separate from the regular Joe's. Because even though they are Joe's, they're international Joe's. So I was going to have like a whole, my whole other team over here. And then the October Guard, I want to get the other October Guard. There's another Sergeant Savage line on his motorcycle there, but he can't fit on the shelf there. So I should put him over there for now. And I might get another one of those four trays and put him in, put him in there. But I really like this little mech here. This thing's pretty cool, even though it was... Not in the uh, A Real American Hero line. It was actually in the, um, oh, what was that called? Um, Renegades. And they made it in that, that scale. So I went ahead and got it because it looks really good. I got to get the Cobra version. The Cobra one looks really cool. Then this was a... Uh, Custom. That's one of the characters that I came up with. His name's Longshot. Because I like Low Light. As he's my favorite. And I had it in my own storyline that um, Longshot and Low Light were friends. And because in the Joe team, he didn't really have many friends, and he was kind of like the oddball out and. And uh, I kind of related to him because I'm, you know, I stay up late and I like just different things that other people like. So I always related more to that character. And that's one reason why I liked him. Plus, he's a really cool sniper. So that's always been pretty cool to me, too. I got my headquarters all set up. I really like this headquarters. I'm so glad I got it. And. I found a generic bunk bed in this scale. 
but I don't know where to put it. So I just put it back there for now. I can't put it in there because they got beds in there in the jail. So I got my little Cobra Trooper hanging out in there. Got his weapons. There's a little, that's a storage box back there. I got his weapons in there. But I got them all looking like they're ready. I'm pretty, I like, I like this little room out here. I got all my, I, I, it's nice to have my Star Wars stuff back on display. There's still, there's still some things that I don't have out because they're, I probably lost, I lost most of the pieces to them and I was going to put them all back together, getting their pieces back together before I put them on display. And I have a power of the force. Darth Vader still in the box and a protective case. Just in, I don't think he's worth anything, but just in case he is. And my sister gave me that the first year the Phantom Menace came out. Never opened them. And I got all just ships and stuff. And I'm debating whether or not if I want to open that or not. I'll probably wind up just leaving it in the box, but. I had Java's Palace there, so and then in Java's Palace, the Rancor was under it, so I, I put that's the main reason I put that there. And then I just put that there because there was no other room. I had no other room to put it anywhere else. And then I try to I try to keep it all with the try to keep all the movies together. I try my best to anyway. It's kind of. Just for lack of room, I don't really have much time to, or space in it. But I got some boxes over there. I got the headquarters box, and I got the AT, AT, AT box. And I got my Master Chief, my three foot tall Master Chief. And then I got Cortana. That's from the uh, McFarlane series. Same line as these right here. But she lights up, and I was just going to have him look like he's talking to her. I thought that was kind of neat. But, I mean, I, I really like this room. I come out here sometimes and just look at what I got. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to get more room and stuff. So, I, I don't know yet. I'm pretty sure I'll figure something out else out eventually. But for now, this all works. Like I said, I'm probably going to wind up putting something right here in the middle. Just so I can have some room. It's going to be hard to get around it. I mean, it's, this is how, it's kind of, this room is kind of tiny. It's going to be hard. If I have something in the middle there, it'll be hard to get around it. But I'll see. I'll manage. I just don't want everything in my house. Cluttering up my house and... Then I don't have to worry about my cats chewing on all this plastic because for some reason cats like to chew on on this kind of stuff. Oh, he fell over. These are the knockoff Legos. Here's all the, these are the Joe ones. They have a bunch and there's still a few more I need to get. And here's all the Cobra ones back here. They have all the different Cobra Hiss tanks. Because when I was a kid, there was only, um, they only had one Hiss tank or one number, and I, I would believe it was that one at number 788. And then when the 25th came out, they had that 001, and then they had, like, just different numbers. And, so I, and I, with the different numbers, I like it, because then, then you can make it more, like, different tank numbers and stuff. And there's the maggot, and I got worms. <laughs> one of them's antenna is original, and I think that one is a reproduction. And that one's original. And then there's a 25th uh, worms officer. And I got the sea ray with the sea slug. That vehicle breaks apart, but it's. It's so old, I'm scared to take it apart. And I need a shelf to put those guys on because I hate leaving things on the floor. 
Hey, you. Always have to make an appearance, don't you? But then uh, here's, this is from the Gundam Universe line. I really like Gundam Universe. Uh, they look really good. Nicely detailed. I just, on this one, Gundam Heavy Arms, I wish they had a twin cannon option. Because he had another option for a dual cannon. And that was uh, really cool. And I don't know if I have it up there or not. But there's, this is the Bandai, or the old version. Yeah, I see the twin cannons there. And these are all from the early 2000s. When I was still a teenager, they had this line come out. And these were like, you're supposed to be able to kit bash them. You're supposed to be able to take them apart and stick them stick them all together and build your own uh, your own gundam but i i had no interest in doing that so i really enjoyed it and then, and then that's a tommy star scream i forget what the name of that line is but he's i found him at a kb toys i found him and they had um i had a bunch of other ones but you know when you pull them out of the box they were missing pieces then I got the Super 7 um, Power Rangers, and then I, I found those at 5 and below. They're from uh, Miraculous Ladybug. I'm waiting on those because those are actually becoming worth something on eBay. I'm waiting for those to build up in value a little bit before I decide to sell them. And then I got the McDonald's um, Cactus Plant Factory figures. Those are... Right, there's an up and down right now, so it's hard to say if they're ever going to be worth anything. But like they were there for a minute, they were you can sell all four of those for a hundred bucks, and then now they're like at 40 and 50. And then they, sometimes you can see them for five or six hundreds. And I don't, I don't see anybody paying five or six hundred for those, but hey, you never know. But this is my collection, I mean, and it is, I do have security. There's my camera, I got cameras and alarms systems and stuff on here just to make sure everything's fine police are only right down the street from me so they have a very fast response time very fast response time I, mean, I sure do enjoy these uh, it's hard to see but i got steel brigade and my um Take this off without taking that top off. I got Steel Brigade in this thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait till too much trouble. I got Steel Brigade and a Steel Brigade Delta. Dry, they, they were they were pilot or motor motor pool, so I put them in the APC. And that's the Road Toad. <laughs> it is complete. It's a vehicle recovery. I think it, I, I like this, and I like the I like how GI Joe thought about all the little the little things, you know, all the all the little extra vehicles. They didn't just think of tanks. Like I mean, they got a, a minesweeper. And I got tripwire on there because who else would I put on there? And then I got rampart on the shoreline defender because he's a they call him a coastal defender. And so I was like, well, pair him up with a shoreline defender. And that, the, that does move around. And it folds up into a box and you can tow it behind a towed a vehicle. Some of these vehicles have tow hooks behind them like that. And then I got a modern hardball on the RPV and I do have the box for that one. Then I got the radar rat that is complete and unbroken and I got the box for that and I paid a lot of money for that and it's still worth a good bit because it's complete and I got back blast on there he's complete I enjoy, I enjoy my collection I enjoy talking about it and
That was uh, something. This is relatively new. This Cobra Stun with the Stun Drivers. I didn't know who else to put on there, so I just put a bunch of Stun Drivers on there. I think, I think it looks all right. I mean, you see, you see them in the comic book like that with a ton of them on there, so I just try to make it comic book accurate. And there's the Cobra Adder. And that's the 25th thing. The uh, Mass Device. The Weather Dominator top. Our part is down there. It's hard to see what's there in the back. You can put that on top of that. But yeah, I, I collect mostly modern it's, uh, 25th anniversary to now. And I, I will, of course they discontinue the three and three quarter line or four, I think they are four inches now, but they discontinued that line and now they're making the classified series and I, I do have quite a few of those or I keep them inside for now because for one I don't have anywhere to put them out here and two they're still new and I want to keep I just want to keep them inside but I collect 25th anniversary and 50th and collector's club and stuff like that because they're all on this scale and if they don't make a they don't make a, a modern version of a character. And I'll just get the original, like like old Backblast here. He's an original. And they never made a modern version of him. At least I can find anyway. So I just went ahead and paired him up with there. And just like old uh, Ripcord there. They, they made a modern version of Ripcord, but it was the Rise of Cobra version and then they had a um renegades version and i just i wasn't interested in that one so because it didn't look nothing like the original so that's who i wanted to keep and they they tried to pass specialist aptitude off as that but it, they, those are two completely different characters even though they have similar paint but that's they are completely different characters completely different code names completely different names completely different backstories so i went ahead and just got the original ripcord and then um just like in there i got sci-fi the original sci-fi even though i got a modern version up here because sci-fi is one of my more favorite characters i went ahead and got an original because i wanted to put him in the havoc but even that's a that's a 25th cross country or modern cross, cross country. And then I got spy troops. Um, I think his name's Mirage. I'm probably wrong. Then they had backstop. And, but that is an original polarizer. Just like that. And that's an original killer whale. But I got modern figures in it, just like that. Double fish, modern figure, original. And that tracker there, he's all original. He's, they didn't make a modern version of him, so I kept him. And then I kept that, I think that's called the Manta Ray. Or just the Manta. I can't remember the name of it, but it was that. I put Chuckles on there just because he looks good paired with it. It's like an original Cobra Asp. They never made a modern version. The old Ferret, they never made a modern. And the, the um, Dreadnought Chopper, and that's a modern Zorana. There was just, there was just a few things. That, now that's modern, but that's original. Oh man, that's, that's an original. They never made a modern Mamba, and that thing looks really good. I've always liked that vehicle. I finally was able to acquire it and when I went on a road trip all the way to Georgia. But yep, I'm like my room and sorry if I'm babbling on. I just really like it in here. If you watch the whole thing, well bless you. Hope I didn't bore you to death. And uh, 
I mostly do these videos for myself. Just to uh, share my thoughts. Sometimes my son watches it and he, he, he over at it when he's at his mom's, he'll watch something that I post and he enjoys it. Cause I only see him every other weekend and kinda, he can see, you know, whenever I post something new, he can see what I'm up to and what I'm doing and stuff like that. I really, I really do enjoy my collection room out here. But again, if you watch this, bless you. Sorry if I bored you. And if, if nobody watches this, well, you know what? It ain't hurting my feelings because I'm doing this for myself anyway. Take care.